Obviously, we should now meet the lunatics who are going to do this. We've got Leo Holding, who uh, is widely regarded to be one of the 20 best climbers ever to have lived. And he's going to be helped today by Tim Emmert. So this is how tall? Uh, this one is about 1,200 feet. How long do you reckon that would take a normal climber to climb? They say this particular route, uh, the standard ascent time is about six to seven hours. Six to seven, but you're a speed climber, aren't you? I reckon we can have it in two hours. Two? Mm-hmm, if we're fast and it'll go as well. I've just looked at my route, and I reckon that's 60 miles, so if I average 30, that's about two hours. Yeah, it should be a pretty good race, mate. It should. You fancy a bet? A fiver? Why not? You're on. Fiver. Best of luck, chaps. Get cracking. And off you go. There's no rush. No rush at all. Best of luck. I know that trying to average 30 miles an hour doesn't sound like much, but on roads like this, trust me, it's a tall road. Mind you, the climbers had an even bigger problem. They were going up with no safety ropes. Really thinks he's going to climb up there faster than I can get this to the top. Come on! I mean, Audi made its name in terrain like this with the Quattro, that fire spitting rally car, which incidentally also had an engine in front of the head. Come on! The only reason it won rallies back then was because it was the only car with four-wheel drive. And it was racing against Ford Escorts. Me, I'm racing against a sinewy Johnny Depp look-alike. I'm going to have that Clarkson, mate. It's blanking him. <laughs> the first thing you notice, and this is a strictly remote right now, is that this is the first Audi I've ever driven. Yes, it's firm, but it's not uncomfortable. I mean, not compared to hanging from a bird's nest. Go on, Leo. Go on. By your fingernails. Ah! A million feet above some pointy boulders, for example. Come on. versus a man with a 14-inch waist and a hairband. Go on, Tim, we're cruising. Get out of the way! Go on! The next thing you notice is how good the steering is. And that gives you the confidence to really stick it into the bend. And when you do stick it into the bends, you find that all the most nervous is this car really handles the bend really goes. Two adrenaline junkies who call everyone Doom. Ah, come on! Come on, man, last pace. Go on! No! I don't believe that. So that was what, one hour? 57. You climbed that in 157? <laughs> Not even out of breath. And I was what, two hours three? 
you guys. <laughs> Tell you what though, this was a laugh coming up here in this car on this road. So, you up for a race back down again? Double or quits back to the start? Double or quits, you're on. See you down there. Ha <laughs> ha. Power, four-wheel drive grip, brilliant build quality. And 50,000 quid? It's the bargain of the century. This isn't just better than all the old fast Audis. This is better than, dare I say it, better than an M3? I think it is. Win the race back down, I had gravity on my side. <sighs> Unfortunately, so did Lee. Right, 1,200 feet in 20 seconds. Beat that, Clarkson. <laughs>